Alright everybody, welcome back to another video. Today I'll be using the Fennec, and this thing absolutely shreds. Uh, you'll see in a lot of the clips towards the end, I'm playing hardpoint, and I'm basically just trying to stay in the hardpoint. I end up with like 307 on the last hill in the last clip, and that's pretty much because this gun is at best a fast rate, obviously, rate of fire. And so I just try to put myself in the closest quarters possible. It, it's like the vector in Ghost is what it looks like. It, it looks like a vector, but it much more plays to me like the Scorpion from Black Ops 2. Just one of those fast rate of fire some machine guns. But it, it is still okay at longer ranges. You definitely notice though the damage runs off a little bit. Uh, I could put a barrel on, but then I don't want to take down the aim down sight speed. So I think this is... This is obviously, like, everyone knows how good this gun is. It is a little situational, but God, is it fun to use. Uh, so I've actually, this was the next gun I had to go for gold anyway. I think I have this, and then the Hurricane sub are the only two left for sub machine guns. I need to get gold. But I was just a good timing that I'm going for this one now, because I've been playing more Warzone duos with my friend, and I'm just glad that I had this gun right up next, because everybody is either melting me with this, or anytime I pick this gun up, I'm shredding people with it. So I definitely want to get all my attachments for this. I can't wait to get extended mag, uh, especially in Warzone with this thing. And when they're, especially you're playing like duos or quads and multiple challenges at once, I just hate having to stop to reload. It's a fast rate of fire. It goes by so quick. But uh, I was actually also having to go for crouch kills and I wasn't even paying attention to like my camo. So I was kind of just using it. And then I realized like I'm getting like two crouch kills a game. I guess you don't notice how little you actually like crouch with a submachine gun. I'm just running around. So I had to end up doing that a lot too, which is another reason I ended up just sitting in the hard point, but it kind of worked out. So speaking of Warzone, uh, I was, I'm sure many of you play it, many of you know, it's been pretty broken. Uh, getting into games, everyone's been getting dev errors. Uh, I haven't even been able to play duos because it just won't ever load. Uh, and then even in quads, which will load after, like we might get a game an hour and it's 50-50 if my game's gonna crash or my friends is gonna crash. and. It's even worse because we play crossplay. Uh, he's on computer and I'm on Xbox, so that also adds to the trouble of it for some reason. But the last couple of days, it's actually been much better. It's still not great, but do, we, we can play duos now, which is good because you don't have to go into quads and rely on random teammates who most of the time you guys don't even up, end up landing together. So it's like two challenging four. So we don't have to do that and we can actually get into duo games. So thank goodness for that. I'm gonna be trying to go for probably the light machine guns next because i think that's kind of the meta it's like the rpk i know is really good i gotta start watching more warzone streams i watched like nade shot and i watched uh legion or skump when they play but i gotta watch like and youtube videos too for like what actually the meta is because no matter what i'm playing i want to have fun but i also want to give myself an advantage and know about what i'm playing because i didn't play a lot of warzone one like i said i played blackout so i still need to learn the meta what to do and i've been getting a little better my friend actually pointed out to me the other day that he was like, you're actually playing really well when you treat it like it's just a regular Call of Duty, which to me, I didn't even thought about makes sense because my issue in Warzone is I get obsessed with looting. And I know I'm not the only one who has that problem. Like I'll be staring at the ground so much for loot. And it's like at the beginning, obviously you need loot, but I'll be doing it like when I'm just changing ammo that I actually needed for another, I'm just picking up everything. I've got grenades, but I keep switching them for other grenades and then I'll just grab them right back. I'll just grab whatever, I'm such a hoarder. Whatever that show was, was it just hoarders? I don't know, where people just can't throw shit out? That's me in Warzone. I'm just like, ooh, some of this, some of this, some of this. And then I die because I'm not ready for a gunfight. And yeah, that little white dot with like that little, like where you aim in, like you obviously want that centered in the middle of your screen. And when I'm looting, it's, it's looking at the ground, so. I lose so many gunfights because I'm just obsessed with it. And my friend pointed out that when you're playing it like you do a regular COD, either running it, flying to people, or pre-aiming corners, you do a lot better. So I definitely need to like reel that into my head. Like once or twice a game, I have to tell myself, stop looting, you're good. And even when you land right away, like I'm obsessed with finding a gun, which obviously you should, but like I would like run away too much. Like if I land with a pistol and I know other people are with me, I think it's better to just challenge them because they're also doing what I'm doing a lot of times and just looking for guns. A lot of this stuff probably seems really obvious to you guys that play a lot more Warzone than me. But I'm not that good at Warzone, so it's a little bit of a learning curve. I'm hoping to get better, especially because I'm going to keep posting solos. Solos is a little different than duos, because duos there's more teamwork involved, which is one of my strengths. Uh, solos is a little random. It still definitely takes a lot of skill, but there's a little more randomness to it. It's so slow-paced, and I'm trying to get used to how 
fast like duos or quads are and then you go to solos and it's kind of like a different game so i definitely have a better shot of winning a solo i think uh because it's i can just like hide or i can just like play the outskirts more when it's like duos or quads and it's just like they just get thrown at me and i don't quite know what i'm doing yet it, it's tougher but another thing i want to talk about is they added a new game mode the uh cdl mosh pit for those of you who watch competitive uh, i'm going to be playing that i probably will do some live commentaries uh, I don't know how often we'll experiment with it because I love playing competitive, but it's already tougher because the people who are playing that are into competitive or at least are trying to get into it. So they're going to be better and they're going to know what they're doing. So adding a live commentary on top of that, which I think I'm pretty good at, but it's still like, I'm probably going to be a second slower when I'm explaining what I'm doing. So they haven't had ranked play yet, but they added Mosh Pit and I didn't even know that was coming in. So I, part of me is just very happy because I wanted that and I wanted to play that with my friends and post videos about it. But another part of me is a little frustrated because it's basically just ranked play, but without the actual ranking system. So it just shows, like, they have the ability to make the game. Like, it's... Or make the game mode. It's ready. But they just haven't done it yet. I hate that it takes until, like, February. Like, it should come out when the game comes out. And I know the excuse is like, well, they don't know what they're doing yet in competitive. Like, it should just be with real time. If they try out a map in competitive and it doesn't work, and they take it out, just do an update. There's updates all the time, and then take that map out. I don't know. This is always a good feeling though, winning a close game. I ended up with like over three minutes on the hill, like I said. So if that's going to do it for today's video, guys, please leave a like if you enjoyed. Thank you all for watching, and I'll talk to you guys later.